A great day to one and all. Welcome to the licensure examination for teachers or let review for mathematics majors. I am Dr. Kim J.C. Ensho, and I will be your discussant for today. I will be discussing with you set A with 50 items. So I hope you have your pens and pencils and paper with you. And feel free to pause the video from time to time while doing the problems. And let's see if you get them correctly. Are you ready? Let's start. Let's have number one. If 2x minus 3 equals 5, what is 4x plus 1? Is it 17, 18, 19, or 20? What do you think? And for the solution for this, if 2x minus 3 equals 5, adding both sides by 3 gives us 2x equals 8. And if we're looking for the value of x, we divide both sides by 2. And with such, 8 divided by 2 is 4. Hence, the value of x is 4. However, this is not yet our final answer because we are looking for the value of 4x plus 1. And substituting x with 4, we have 4 times 4 plus 1, which is 16 plus 1. And the correct answer is 17. And that is letter A. I hope you had a great start. Let's move on to second question. Let's have question number two. What is the simplified form of this expression? Please give this problem a try. Let's see. Is it three, four, five, or six? Let's see. By simplifying this, we have to simplify. Uh, you see, there are many grouping symbols. And if this happens as much as possible, we have to apply the GEMDAS rule. And also, if there are multiple um, groupings, so we have to simplify from the inside most going to the outer, outer ones. So in this case, we have to simplify the 4 squared minus 2 cubed first. 4 squared means 4 times 4, or 16. 2 cubed means you're going to write or um, take 2 as a factor thrice. That's 2 times 2 times 2, or 8. That's why 4 squared minus 2 cubed becomes 16 minus 8. And the rest were just copied. We can simplify this 16 minus 8 as 8. And we have now 21 minus 4 times a quantity 3 times 8 minus 20. The 3 times 8 here is, remember, this involves multiplication and subtraction. And so by the GEMDAS rule, multiplication should be done first. So 3 times 8 is 24, and the rest were just copied. We can now simplify the 24 minus 20, which is 4. And we have 21 minus 4 times 4, so 4 times 4. Multiplication first before subtraction. And we have 16. 21 minus 16, and that gives us 5. Hence, the correct answer is letter C. I hope you got this item correctly as well. Let's have question number three. Simplify this expression, negative four plus three times negative five plus seven minus four minus 10. Which of these is correct? Let us see. Let's now divulge the solution. So you could see from this expression that there involves minus or plus and multiplication. And by the GEMDAS rule, we have to do the multiplication first. That's 3 times negative 5, which is negative 15. And the rest were just copied. And from here, you could do now, um, in my case here, I did negative 4 minus 15 first, which is negative 19. The 7 minus 4, that's 3. I mean, yeah, 3 minus 10, which is negative 7. 
That's why I have negative 19 minus 7, which simplifies to negative 26. If you got this correctly, congratulations. But if not, better luck next time and do your best for the succeeding items. Let's have the fourth one. So here it's letter A. Let's have number four. Evaluate xy plus 3x minus y over 4 if x is negative 1 and y is 5. Is it negative 7, 2, 5, or 9 fourths? So basically what we're going to do is we will substitute the values of x and y to this expression and simplify it using our order of operations. So from here, by substitution, so we have here, all x were replaced by negative 1 and all y's were replaced by 5. That's why we have negative 1 times 5 plus 3 times negative 1 minus 5 all over 4. Negative 1 times 5, it's negative 5. Also, for our numerator, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 minus 5, it's negative 8. So we have here negative 8 over 4. Negative 8 over 4 simplifies to negative 2. Because if you divide a negative by a positive, the answer is negative. And that becomes negative 5 minus 2, which is negative 7. So I hope you got this problem correctly as well. I hope you are having a great time so far. Let's move on to item number five. So by the way, the answer here is A. <laughs> Thank you. Number five, simplify the expression three multiplied by the binomial four X plus five Y minus the sum of negative Y and three X. Let's see, is it A, B, C or D? Let us see. For such, for the first one, we could actually distribute the 3 to 4x plus 5y. And when I say distribute, that means you multiply it. So 3 times 4x, it's 12x. 3 times 5y, is we have here plus 15y. And if you distribute the negative sign here, then if you subtract, then all the expressions here at the left, at, uh, following it rather, will change sign. So minus negative y will become plus y. Minus 3x becomes minus 3x, okay? And hence, we can now combine like terms. So you could see 12x minus, when I say like terms, by the way, um, in this case, these are um, expressions having the same variable. They have the same literal coefficient part, no? same variable and same exponent at the same time. So I could combine here 12x and negative 3x, which results to 9x. 15y plus y, which is plus 16y. Hence, if you answer B, you got it right. Moving on to item number six. If A asterisk B equals 2AB minus 6, what is the value of 4 asterisk 7? Is it A19, B38, C89, or D50? If you encounter problems or word problems like this, all you have to do is follow the pattern or the format and change, in this case here, that A will be replaced by 4 and the B will be replaced by 7. Hence, we have 4 asterisk 7 equals 2 times 4 times 7 minus 6. We could simplify that 2 times 4 times 7. So 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times 7 is 56. And thus, this becomes 56 minus 6, which is 50, which is letter D. All right. I hope you're having a great time so far. Let's move on to item number seven. Subtract 4x minus 7 from the sum of x plus 3 and 9x minus 8. 
Which of these do you think is the correct answer? So it says here subtract. So in 4x minus 7 from the sum of these two. And this tells us that we have to add the x plus 3 and 9x minus 8. And after adding this two, we could subtract now the value of 4x minus 7 from it. Hence, this is your expression. And adding the x plus 3 and 9x minus 8 by combining like terms, of course. So x plus 9x is 10x. 3 minus 8 is negative 5. And if you subtract the 4x minus 7, you distribute the negative symbol. This becomes negative 4x and negative of negative 7 will be plus 7. And you could see that 10x minus 4x are like terms. Okay, so that's 6x. And negative 5 plus 7, that's plus 2. If you answer D, you got it right. Congratulations. 6x plus 2. Moving on to number 8. Find the product of 8x plus 1 and 3x plus 5. So when we say product, it's actually the answer of a multiplication sentence. So in this case, we will be multiplying these two binomials. And we could utilize what we call the FOIL method. Or we could simply employ the distribution. No? Or the distributive property. So for the we could multiply 8x times 3x, that's 24x squared. Then that's first. Then O is outer. So 8x times 5 will be plus 40x. Next, inner. 1 times 3x, that's plus 3x. And last, 1 times 5, which is positive 5. We could combine 40x and 3x into 43x. Hence, the final answer here is 24x squared plus 43x plus 5, or that's letter B. Number nine. What is the greatest common factor or the GCF of 2 cubed times 3 squared and 2 squared times 3 to the fifth? In this case, I express them in prime factorization form. Is it 24, 36, 1944, or 150? The usual tendency of some is that they simplify this first, and after simplifying, they get their GCF. But in fact, you don't need to do that because if you would compare them, if the 2 cubed and the 2 squared, you should pick the one with the smaller exponent. So 2 cubed and 2 squared, you will pick the squared because it should be the one with the lower exponent. Between 3 squared and 3 to the fifth, the exponent of 3 squared is smaller. That's why we will pick 3 squared. And to get the GCF, you have to multiply them. So that's 3 squared times 2 squared or 9 times 4, which is 36. And B is the correct answer. Okay, I hope you were able to recall your number theory for this. Number 10, which of the following is equivalent to the negative of the fifth power of 2x cubed y to the fourth? Which of these do you think is correct? Feel free to pause the video if you wish. And now, I will divulge the answer. So from here, we have to raise what's inside the parentheses into five uh, to five. So we have here two to the fifth, which means two times two times two times two times two, that's 32. If you raise a power to another power, what you do is you copy the base and multiply their exponents. So I copied here the base X, three times five, that's 15. Here, I copy the base y. 4 times 5, that's 20. So what's inside uh, now? We have your 32x raised to 15 times y raised to 20, but we still have a negative outside. So we have to take the negative of this expression, and that is negative 32x to the 15 power times y raised to 20. Hence, D is the correct 
answer. I hope you got it correctly and keep on practicing.